Jizan. The Jizer people have been referred to by the Pleiadians, Billy Mayer contacts, as well as others. This may have some connection with the strange people and technology allegedly encountered in deep labyrinthine recesses beneath Egypt, who were sometimes reportedly seen by explorers, and who are said to dress like ancient Egyptians. There is allegedly, according to leading edge research, a huge cavern deep beneath Egypt which is inhabited by people with close ties with the US secret government. Some sources indicate that the Jizer people may be, a controlled society with the reptilians being the dominant power, although there is still much mystery as to what the Jai's empire is all about. Gracely Their height average is the same, as that of humans, and are covered with soft silky hair. They have two home planets in the Virgo star system. They have visited Earth at least 12 times. Their first visit happened during the era, dynasties, of Egypt's pharaohs, around 3000 years ago. They spent it 10 uninterrupted years there during that time. The Jusa pyramid was built in their honor. They have been keeping a close look at humans development for the past 200 years, knowing that some powerful humans can, and are, being mislead by some alien races, disguised as humans. Their ships only contains, six of them, while traveling. Last sightings, July, 2002, and February, 2004. Solipsy Rei, aka, the Greys. They come from constellation Cygnus. Peaceful and harmonious race. They have one main leader and his name is Martin. Their civilization is two billion years old. Once they were at same level of development as ourselves. They have no colonies. They are completely focused on the development of other planets and races. They do have one powerful weapon, that keeps some neighboring violent races away. And others that may try to invade them. At one time race Matera lost five ships because of it. They said that the human race in the next few thousands of years, still has 645 options left to save ourselves, our planet and to guarantee a future for our race. But it will depend on our ability, to travel to space. They are Solipsirei, but humans call them, the Greys. The Invisibles They come from constellation Mensa. This race is known to have been seen near high security areas. They are almost completely invisible to the naked eye. Both the US and Russian military have developed technology, that allows them to track them down on radar, only the ships. Three things are known all about this race. 1. They leave a sour smell when they are near. 2. When they are near windows you can see their reflection as a smudged like figure, have been caught on CCTV footage. 3. When dogs start to bark with no apparent reason it is possible, that they are nearby, or reptoids slash reptilians. Purpose of presence, unknown. Eguanoids Approximately 4 to 5 feet tall, with iguana-like appearance yet hominoid configuration. They have sometimes been seen wearing black hooded monk robes, or cloaks which conceal much of their saurian features, which include tails. These have been reported as being extremely dangerous and hateful towards humans and lesser ranking reptiloids such as greys and like all other branches of the serpent race they utilize black witchcraft, sorcery and other forms of mind control against their enemies. They appear to be a dimension hopping sorcerer or priest class among the reptiloid species. Endogtk, aka, Tall Whites. This race has several bases on and in the moon, where they mine, unknown materials. They use as slaves to do most of their work. These slaves are extremely well taken care of, and the Endigt see them as indispensable. Their operations on and in the moon are very secretive. 
they are in almost permanent contact with high-ranking officials, from the USA, China and Russian federal governments. They have the ability to shapeshift into an almost perfect human form. They are also known as men in black, as they use special dark suits, to protect their skin, when in human shape, while conducting special operations on Earth. Giantic They come from constellation Horologium and are known to have allies with the race Matra. Maintains sporadic contacts with three Earth governments, but not the most powerful ones, not the US, Russia or China. Considered to have a violent nature by other races. They have been visiting Earth for 3000 years. Last sighting, near Houston, USA. February 1st, 2003. Jafok. They come from constellation Endus. They are known by other races as peacemakers. They are very advanced technologically. Their first sighting on Earth dates back to 1500 BC. They met with JFK, three weeks before he was killed. They have also, around the same time, met with other human world leaders. They have not been seen on Earth since JFK's death. In 1965 they gave a message to the human leaders, of countries with nuclear capability, content unknown. Kelnia. They come from constellation Aquila, star raised. They have colonized three planets and have a lifespan of 150 years. They are often sighted in northern Africa, and the Sahara region. First visited Earth around 300 BC. They do not conduct abductions. Main interest about Earth, minerals. Last sighted in 2003 near a volcano in Iceland. Kilimatar, aka, K.R. They come from constellation Crux, near Gakrux. It is a very hard race to track down or spot. Both the US and the Russian military, have developed a special camera and radar system, that allows to spot them when they are on Earth. But even then, they have only been sighted eight times. The purpose of their presence is unknown. When they are sighted is is usually in the area, known as the Bermuda Triangle. They come from constellation Vela, near the star Suhail al Malif. They grow up to 2 meters high, 6, and live up to 200 years. They can shape shift, but there is one thing they cannot change, and that is the size and color of their eyes. They are one of the oldest known races. They do abduct humans. Last seen on Earth in July of 2008. Kurs, aka, Gods of Lands. They come from the planet Delimuns, believed to be related to the race Sain Unarchy. They are the race behind the story of Enlil and Ninlil. They were directly involved on the development of the human race during early stages. They spent time immersed in a precious gold-like liquid, that presumably extends their lifespan. After centuries away from Earth, they have recently returned. Their own leader is amongst the most recent visitors. They will now stay on Earth permanently. They will have an important role in the years to come. Liran With its celestial keys, its cords of air, its frets of fire, the Samian's great Aeolian lyre, rising through, all its sevenfold bars, from Earth unto, the fixed stars. They come in all shapes, sizes from dark skinned to Caucasian, there is supposedly a red haired, light skinned giant race, with rather large features. Lyrans were evidently driven out of their star system several thousand of years ago, and relocated to many areas in the galaxy. The Lyrans were the original ancestors, of our galactic family, 
Many thousands of years ago their civilization reached a very high technological level, however fell into disagreement and factions, within their culture. These factions went to war and destroyed much of their society. Many of these beings from Lyra, left in their starships to colonize the Pleiades, the Hyades, and the Vega system. This region, like our own system, may still be a battleground between Saurian greys and humans. Some of these Pleiadians of Lyrian ancestors also came to Earth during the Lemurians and Atlanteans period. These other civilizations could be looked at as our galactic cousins. Lang They come from the sixth star, in the constellation Coma Berenices. They have three home planets, maybe four, and have colonized at least ten small species growing to 70 centimeters. They were one of the first races to visit Earth. This race started the stories about elves. Two alien races claim that they, race Lang, have abducted over 10 million humans throughout history. That number is highly disputed, by two other alien races, they state that the number is much lower. And one race even made a statement to a Russian president, saying that the race Lang has never abducted any humans. Last sighting, New Zealand, in 2006. A group of 20 members. Maitra. They have two home planets in constellation Megalpay. Same average height as humans. They are hermaphrodites and their lifespan is 120 years. They have colonized at least 26 planets, have abducted at least 5,000 humans, males. Abduction of humans is carried out openly, are considered by many alien races as parasites. They have visited Earth at least 200 times. Visited Earth for the first time, during the prehistoric period, date unknown. They have the goal of colonizing Earth. That has not happened, because of protection from other alien races, such as the races from the Council of the Five. Last sighting, September 2006 near Nome, Alaska, USA. Movie Anton Kafik, aka, Shining Ones. They come from constellation Volbecula. They have met with, at least, two US presidents, as well as with USSR and, now, Russian leaders, and some high-ranking officials. They supply limited amounts of their technology to humans, in exchange for the freedom to conduct abductions. They do not involve other alien races in this process. They had a big role in Siberian and Tibetan culture. They have bases in those areas, hidden in the north face of the mountains. They have colonized over 40 planets outside our solar system. So far. Nordics. Blonde, blue-eyed, angular faces. Although Nordics are humanoid and externally almost identical to humans, 